How's it going, everyone? So the initial injury report for this Week 12 game where the 4-7 and seven Green Bay Packers head to Philly. Sunday night football against the Eagles, the 9-1 and Eagles. Let's get into it. Before we do, I want to remind you guys, there is exactly one week left to enter for this signed Aaron Jones authentic NFL jersey. Uh, thank you to pristineauction.com. In order to enter in this giveaway, you go to pristineauction.com, register on their website using my code BASS, that's B-A-S, and you'll be entered in this giveaway. This ends on November 30th, so a winner will be chosen then. Again, that's pristineauction.com using code BASS. So before we bring up the actual injury Report. There is some roster news to go over really quickly. First of which, Packers offensive tackle Caleb Jones has been designated for return from the non-football injury list. He has a three-week window to practice during which he can be activated at any time. He's been out around two months. So yeah, as it states, Caleb Jones potentially coming off the NFI list. Uh, even before he was placed on that list, uh, he wasn't active for any of the games. But I assume once they bring him to the 53-man roster, they might end up cutting someone like Luke Tenuta, um, another tackle on the team who obviously I think they value uh, Caleb Jones higher. So nice to get some of that depth back there at tackle. The Packers have also made an actual signing here stated by Ian Rappaport. Former Rams linebacker Justin Hollins was just claimed by the Packers. Source said another defensive claim by Green Bay. Justin Hollins was a fifth round draft selection in the 2019 draft out of Oregon to the Denver Broncos. Then after the 2019 season, he actually was waived by the Denver Broncos and then claimed by the Los Angeles Rams. And if we quickly look over his stats over the years, we see in 2019, uh, he had 10 total pressures and a sack. In 2020, he had 14 pressures and four sacks in 2021, five pressures and two sacks. And so far uh, through 11 weeks in 2022, he has six total pressures and one sack. So obviously the Packers adding some depth at this edge position where right now they only have three players on the roster at edge with Kingsley and Igbari, uh, Preston Smith, and then John Garvin. Now they do have some players on the practice squad, such as Ladarius Hamilton, who they have been calling up. And they also have the ability to still activate Tipa Nalii, but the Packers are still super thin at edge rusher. Luckily, Kingsley and Igbari has been stepping up at that starter spot um, since Rashawn Gary went down with that torn ACL. But uh, Justin Hollins here um, does have some you know, veteran experience. He's, he started games for the Rams. He started some games for the Broncos. So he does have that veteran experience bringing him him bringing him in and, and potentially you know giving the Packers some relief at that edge position which like I said they're really thin at right now all right so now finally bringing up the first injury report for this week 12 matchup we see at the top of the list here Jair Alexander a groin injury a full participation so good to see him you know full here I don't see this being an issue at all we see David Bakhtiari with a knee injury he's a did not participate they've been doing this for the past few weeks and it's been working uh giving him some time off during practice and he's played I think two back-to-back -back or even three back-to-back to back uh, full games at left tackle now not missing any snaps that's really good to see uh, Chris Barnes limited participation with a hand injury going to need all the linebackers we need as we see next here Devondre Campbell is still a did not participate with the knee injury he's been out for a few weeks now then we see Tariq Carpenter and Randall Cobb both with illnesses Tariq Carpenter didn't participate Randall Cobb was limited and then also Mason Crosby with an illness who was a full participation so obviously something some type of sickness going around the locker room right now hopefully all these guys are good to go for Sunday. And then we see Romeo Dobbs did not participate with that same ankle uh, injury. I think if he were to be out more than four weeks, they would have placed him on IR. So if he's not back this week, I do expect him to be back uh, the week after. Then we see Rudy Ford, also an illness. So tons of illnesses on this list as well. A did not participate. Shamar John Charles with the ankle injury. He is limited. Elton Jenkins knee injury. He's a did not participate. I would assume a rest day for both Elton and David Bakhtiar here. Aaron Jones, a shin slash glute injury. He's a limited participation. Uh, he looked a little you know iffy on that Tennessee game so I, I'm assuming this is what that exactly was but he'll likely be ready to go against the Eagles Aaron Jones pretty much plays through anything at this point Alan Lazard still with that shoulder injury he's been dealing with for the past few weeks now he is limited Aaron Rodgers with his right thumb which uh, shout out Big B for pretty much breaking that the news that pun intended that Aaron Rodgers thumb was broken uh, I think he went on the Pat McAfee show uh, yesterday and hinted at it that it was broken. And Big B uh, talking to Aaron Rodgers pretty much said, hey, you know, <laughs> this thumb is broken. So that makes a lot of sense. I knew it was, you know, more of an issue than a lot of people made out. So where he is in the healing process of that, who knows? Obviously, it's still an issue. He was limited today with a taped thumb. Then we see Quay Walker with a shoulder injury. He is a full participation.
rotation. He's been stepping up in the absence of Devondre Campbell. Had a really good game against the Titans. And then finally, we see Rasheed Walker also with an illness did not participate. So really important for all this sickness to go away. And hopefully all these guys are going to be good to go Sunday. But that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more Packers news analysis and updates, uh, go down, hit that subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications to not miss any of the videos. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Pack Go.